another all-in-one. Let's see if Thermal Take is able to keep up with the other one. This episode is brought to you by Innovative Gadget and their Retro Nixie Tube Clock. Are you looking to elevate your gaming setup but those annoying scalpers are giving you a hard time? Well, there is more than one way to get that FPS counter up. Meet the Retro Nixie Tube Clock. It looks retro, it looks cool, but most important, it got RGB. Place that RGB piece next to your setup and you will not only be able to know the exact time, all the time, but you will also witness an immediate performance boost. Just look at that difference. If you want to know more about the Retro Nixie Tube Clock, make sure to visit their shop by using the link in the description below. So, today we are going to have a look at Thermaltake's approach to small all-in-ones, the TH120 ARGB. On the spec sheet, we are looking at a 120mm all-in-one with a 27mm thick radiator. It is compatible with every relevant socket with up to AM4 for Team Red and LGA1200 for Team Blue. There is not much known about the pump except that it is pushing at 3300 RPM. The helping fan is spinning at 1500 RPM, pushing slightly less than 60 CFM at 1.31 mm of water while yelling at 27 dB. The tubes are sleeved, 400 mm long, pretty thick and adjustable at the water block. Of course, both fans and the water block come with some nice looking RGB. To control them, Thermaltake is using some proprietary plug, but you can immediately adapt it to the standard 5V addressable and control it with the usual software. For those who do not have a ARGB port on the mainboard, Thermaltake includes a SATA powered remote which can control the RGB mode, color and speed. The big copper block does not come with pre-applied thermal paste, but Thermaltake made sure to include some inside of the bag of mounting hardware. Okay, so I do not really have an issue with Thermaltake using proprietary plugs because it's directly adaptable to 5V, but then I don't really see a reason why they bothered in the first place. If you end up needing to use the adapter anyway, why don't you just use the standard to begin with? But that's okay. But what is not so much okay is that both the fan and the pump are using a freaking 3-pin header, not PVM. This should definitely be PVM. Now, that being said, I just want to point out how ridiculously long these wires are. And if we use the 5 volt RGB adapter, the complete RGB cable ends up being longer than I am high. Why would you want that? On the installation part, it is still pretty much the standard. Remove the backplate if there is any, mount the backplate with the marked screw holes, of AMD or Intel depending on your platform, clamp it down with some spacers, use the right mounting bracket for the water block, according of course again to your, to your platform, and then just screw it down. It's unfortunate that Thermaltech didn't make use of the original AMD brackets, but most other ones don't, so I'm counting it as a bonus if it does. Okay, that being said, let's first put it in the system. The installation was as easy as expected, basically the same thing as any other all-in-one nowadays. Except of course for the ridiculously long cable, I mean, it, it may seem like you would want that long of a cable, but, but where do you put it? That's like 2 meters of cables. Anyway, installed in a rig, it, I think it looks nice. I do like the water block, simple straight RGB lines are like kinda my thing but the RGB on the fan barely makes it halfway through and that, that's something that most commonly is seen on like extremely cheap budget fans and it, it, it looks cheap to me. I do think that as a whole it looks okay, 
But me personally, I'm not a big fan of the fan. Let's get to performance. We tested the TH120 on our test bench with a Ryzen 3700X at 4.5 GHz. And out of the box, the all-in-one was able to keep the 3700X at 79 degrees C. Not the best, but still keeping up with the really bad stuff. Then we normalized the fans with Arctic P12. Here the TH120 was able to get the temps down to 77 degrees C. After sandwiching it with two P12s, the TH120 was able to get the temps down even more to 76 degrees C. So out of the box, the all-in-one wasn't performing terribly, sure not the best, but it was still in the range what I would expect from a 120. But dropping 3 degrees because of the Arctic P12s does mean that the radiator pump and water block are underperforming quite a bit, just because Thermaltech cheaped out on the fan. And the original fan is not only like a bit bad, but it is also pretty loud. Let's hear it. So, in general, it would have been much better both from a noise and performance standpoint if the fans were just better. But to sum up the TH120, it, it does look nice, except for the fan. The tube length and quality is alright compared to the other ones we had so far. And of course, the wires are sleeved, the, the same applies for the wires. The RGB software and hardware control out of, the, out of the box is nice and I still think we could count the ridiculously long cables as, as a positive thing. But no PVM on neither the fan nor the pump, having proprietary plugs is, is just kind of annoying uh, and believe me those are fragile as install it five times and, and you're done. And the performance is mediocre at best. So. All in all, I cannot recommend it. It is currently going for around 70 euros or, or dollars, and that is pretty near something like the NZXT Kraken M22, which beats it in basically every category. And that, while I had things like the deep cool L120 V2 that performed way better at three quarter that price. So, compared to basically everything on my charts, it is overpriced and if there is no special reason why you would want to go with this, because maybe like a thermal take theme build, have a look at our other Alien 1 reviews. But just in case, I will still put manufacturer and Amazon affiliate links down in the description below if you really want to check them out. But if not, maybe have a look at the NZXT Kraken M22 that I already mentioned. In my opinion, it looks, it looks way better and performs top notch. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and make sure to leave your opinion with a thumb up, thumb down or the comment section below. And make sure to be subscribed with the bell icon to never miss another video.